there are instances where your iPhone might just refuse to charge via MagSafe. If you're annoyed by the same issue, here's how to fix that. The first thing you need to do is ensure that your iPhone does support MagSafe charging. As you can see on your screen, MagSafe is available only on iPhone 12 and newer models. The next thing you can do is check if the MagSafe charger that you're using is genuine or not. Make sure to only use MagSafe chargers that carry the MFI, made for iPhone, tag or certification. Now that you're clear that your iPhone does support MagSafe charging and your charger is genuine, you can work on the rest of these solutions. It's possible that the MagSafe charger is not properly aligning with the magnets on the back of your iPhone. As such, double check if your MagSafe charger is snapped on properly to the back of your iPhone. It's also possible that you might be using a case with your iPhone. Try removing the case and then checking if your iPhone works with the MagSafe charging now. If you wish to charge your iPhone with the case on, make sure the case supports MagSafe charging as well. These are special cases that have a MagSafe ring on them. Dust accumulation on your MagSafe charger or the dedicated MagSafe ring on your case might prevent the iPhone from charging properly. So ensure to unplug the charger from the power source and clean the surface with a dry cloth. Once cleaned, you can check if your iPhone is charging again via MagSafe. It's also important to ensure you are using a supported power adapter for the MagSafe charger. Similarly to the MagSafe charger, make sure that you are using an MFI certified power adapter for safe power output. If your iPhone still refuses to charge via MagSafe, it's likely a software bug preventing it. You can fix it by updating your iPhone to the latest version. To do that, open the Settings app and then tap on General. Then tap on Software Update. If you are already on the latest update, your iPhone will show that you are. If not, you will get an option to update your iPhone. In case updating your iPhone doesn't resolve the issue either, you can try restarting your iPhone. Lastly, if all else fails, you can try resetting your phone. Just a heads up, resetting will not delete any data or media from the local storage. However, this would reset all settings including, but not limited to, privacy, location, network, and Apple Pay cards. To reset your iPhone, open the Settings app, head over to General, and then Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap on Reset, and then tap on Reset All Settings to return all the settings to default. Hopefully, you are now able to charge your iPhone via the MagSafe charger. If you still face any issues, make sure to contact Apple Customer Care for any hardware faults. If you like this guide, make sure to follow and subscribe to Guiding Tech for more tutorials related to your iPhone and other Apple products. And make sure to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.